Welcome back to my dormant career mode. This is episode 10 and we are going to finish the January transfer window in this episode. So I think our best option as our final signing is Fernandinho. He is 34, so he's getting older, but he's not, he's not exactly slow yet. Okay, so after thinking about Fernandinho for a little bit, I looked again to see which players are currently loan listed, and I found Keanu Hoover from Liverpool, probably pronounced that wrong. Rodrigo Bedenker from Juventus is actually loan listed as well, so that might be a better option than signing Fernandinho. As well as Geiger from Hoffenheim is loan listed, Giesa from Fiorentina, probably pronounced that wrong, he's loan listed, and Mine Guri from Lyonne and Adam Armstrong are both loan listed as well. Now, out of these players, I think I'm eyeing Armstrong and Bettenker, because Bettenker seems like a very decent player to come off the bench. He seems pretty well rounded, although we don't have his actual stats exactly. Armstrong looks like a very versatile wide player slash striker, very quick. I think we definitely get some use out of him as well. So I might try loaning both of them in instead of signing Fernandinho, because we don't have a lot of transfer budget, but we do have a decent amount on the wages. So let's just say a one year loan we can split his wages maybe 60 50 or 60 40 and they agree to that but benker still has to agree to the loan move so we'll have to wait and see if he agrees to that i might try and go for chiesa instead of armstrong because chiesa maybe seems like the better player by a little bit he's valued more so i think i'm gonna try to loan him in so let's do a one-year loan just like benker they want a 60 40 and we have all the wages so we can loan him in easily so we get a midfielder and another option going forward if they agree. I guess I will wait and see if they agree and then see if anybody else. I could go for Hoover because we have Peach at right back and he can also play center back. But I'll maybe go for him once these two decide. All right, so Bettenker has rejected the proposal to join our club on loan. I do not know why Juventus to Dortmund isn't quite a step down. He is loan listed, but he does not want to go on loan. We get a big offer for Bellardi. Now this could be interesting. They are offering 19.8, but they are an MLS team. I feel like most of the time these players reject moves to uh, MLS teams, but I'm gonna see if I can get a little more for him. Cause maybe he could accept it, who knows. Let's ask for just a little bit more. Let's do like 22.5 see what they say to that 19.8 all right 19.8 they're sticking to that all right i'm just gonna accept it if we can get the money from this deal that would be very big but he has rejected offers before so i don't have that much confidence in it all right frederico chiesa has accepted a loan move so we have another forward coming in get a loan offer for polarity gonna ignore that and a transfer offer for delaney but i do not want to let him go Still have not heard back on this Bilardi deal, and we only have five hours left. And Bilardi's transfer talks with Atlanta United have broken down. Not the first time that has happened, so I'm not surprised. That is kind of annoying. We only have three hours left. All right, I'm going to try going in for Fernandinho. I might try and offer a player in the deal so we don't have to pay as much, maybe. I can try offering Bilardi. See what he says to that. A winger, center back, or midfielder well. Polarity is a center back, but I guess not a center back that they want. Honestly, I don't think this deal is going to happen. They don't want any of our players that I'm willing to give up. I think I've tried everyone, and he said no to every single player. So I guess we can try offering the money that we have. Try 14.8, but I'm guessing that's not going to be enough. Yeah, they want 20 million. I don't think this is going to happen. All right, so Fernandinho is not going to be signed. We can try going in for Nacho Fernandez, maybe. He's a versatile defender, but I think his value is going to be more than Fernandinho's. And try another player swap to see what they say. Try Bellardi again. Winger, midfielder, or striker. We can try Giovanni Reina, even though I have a feeling they're not going to accept it. Again, they just don't seem to want any of the players I'm offering. So let's just try the money that we have, even though it'll probably get rejected. Yeah, he wants 20 just like Fernandinho and try the most I have last resort and he actually bumped it up on me so Nacho Fernandez is not gonna work either try and see if Geiger will come to us just so that's all I'm kind of looking to do just get as much cover in each position as possible not sure as overall probably mid 70s that's fine we can accept that 
Might as well go for Hoover as well. His wages are very low. So 60-40 split. We have a little bit more cover at right back. If they accept, because they have three hours to accept. I think if they don't accept these loan deals, we're just going to end up not signing anyone. Because honestly, we're first in the league. We're not in dire need of any player. But considering this might be the only season we do at Dortmund, I wanted to spend this money, but I tried and I just couldn't. So let's see if these players accept their loan moves. All right, one hour left of two emails. What are they going to be? All right, so Geiger's loaned in. So that is another midfielder for us. But still have not heard back on Uber. Right back. Transfer deadline day is over. And his loan move was rejected. So we are only able to bring in one more player on loan. So we have Geiger joining the bench. Or reserves, actually. As well as Chiesa, who's 79, actually. He looks like a decent player. Can play on the wings and up front. Well, 72 finishing. Maybe not up front. Could be a cam for the second team. But yeah, this is going to be the team that we're going to run with till the end of the season. So first game of this episode is at home versus Union Berlin. Union Berlin is in 17th. So I think I'm going to sim this game with the first team. First team is fully rested. So this should be pretty simple for them to get all three points. 45 minutes played, still no goals. 75 minutes played, still no goals. Starting to get a little bit nervous. Delaney scores in the 83rd minute, and that is all three points. So it looked like a tough win, but that is all three points for us. All right, our next game is the quarterfinals of the German Cup. I think I'm going to simulate this game as well because I believe that team is not in the first division in Germany. So our second team should be able to get the job done. Rodrigo scores in the fourth minute. That is a good start for us. Emery Chan scores in the 20th minute. We are looking pretty good. This should be a team that we easily beat as Hazard gets our third. Giesa scores off the bench for our fourth. This is looking like a comfortable win, as expected. But Laherty scores and makes it five. That is a commanding win. And we are through to the semifinals of the German Cup, the DFB Pokal. All right, next game is away versus Leverkusen. They are in sixth place. This is going to be the first played game of the episode. We still have a seven point lead at the top. So we want to keep that at seven points. So first team looks rested. It looks like Brandt and Halan have gone plus one in the overall department. So that is good to see, as well as Hakimi, I believe. But this is a big game. If we want to win the league, these are the games that we have to win. And this is the scene here in Leverkusen ahead of this match. We're at the Bay Arena. You lie back All right, Leverkusen is a pretty decent team. So this game could be a little bit tough. Arangis into the box. Back to the wing. Hakeem tackles. Hummels clears it. Actually, Thiago Silva clears it. A decent ball in. Probably going to try and get another one here. Hakimi should deal with that. That is a low driven cross. But Berkey is going to be able to deal with it. And Goetze scores against his former team in the 15th minute the man we sold to leverkusen puts them up one nil it's a very good first time shot and that is a good start for leverkusen i was not expecting that to go in he actually has 10 goals this season so he has been doing very well at leverkusen we are one nil down early on Grant in the middle is in a good spot. Into Witzel. Tried to get it to Halan, but the pass did not go through. Into Zakaria. Zakaria is taken down at the edge of the box by Arangis. And Arangis is going to get a red card for that. Edge of the box tackle. And he is going to be sent off. I mean, maybe because it looked like a goal scoring chance, but Kai Havertz is going to come off as they are down to 10 men. Now, can Royce put this in? This is at a decent angle for him. See what he can do with this. And that hits the post. And that is so close. It's not going to be a goal. Back heel. Very close again. Another good opportunity. We cannot get the shot away. Ball into Brandt. 
Witzel. Alon is open. Can you finish it? And it's saved by the keeper. Could have passed it to Jaden Sancho, I think. Our best chance of the game so far. We miss it. Alon with a decent turn. And that is going to be wide. So that is going to be half time. We are down 1 0, but they are playing with 10 men. There's a good ball out. Sancho's going to get onto this. Sancho with a quick turn. That is the goal straight off of halftime that we needed. They are playing with 10 men, so we have the advantage. This turn by Sancho is so quick. Beats his defender. That is a very, very good finish. All right, 1 1. This game is ours to take over now. All right, they are playing a very high defense when they are a man down, so this should give us room to get a chance. Royce is making a good run. Witzel just runs into a defender. That was a decent tackle. Good ball by Holland to Royce, out to Brandt. You need to capitalize on this advantage. And that is a super late pass. I pressed pass earlier than that. Time is running out for us. Good ball into Holland. Turns. And that is wide by Holland. I don't know why he took it with his left. That's a very good chance. Again, we squander it. Ball is crossed in. It's cleared. Cannot get the ball back for some reason. And that is going to be offside. I think this is a game for Hazard to come in. And then Delaney's going to come out for... Or he's going to come in for Zakaria. And then I think that's the only change I'm going to make for now. We have like 12 minutes. We need to get this goal. If we don't, I will be very, very disappointed. To Witzel down the middle. Alon is fouled. Very similar spot earlier with Royce. He's going to have another chance here. See what he can do from this range. And that hits the bar again. How does it hit the bar again? Sancho is on the ball. Into Royce. And that's not going to be a foul. We get so close. Once again, hit the bar off a free kick. There is five minutes left. We need to win this ball back. And that is a terrible header. Lond is fouled once again in a similar spot. I think I'm just going to pass this one out. Right, and find something as time is running out. Alond looks like he's almost taken out there. That pass is not going to be to anyone. And that is going to be the end of the game. Oh, that is such a frustrating game of FIFA. We should not have dropped points there at all. I do not understand how we didn't score our second in that game. But now our lead at the top is only five points down from seven. It looks like Leipzig is going to be our main competition for the league title. Man, that game was very, very frustrating. All right, next game is at home versus Frankfurt. They are in eighth, I believe. Yes, eighth. We have the Champions League round of 16 in like three days after this game. So I think I'm going to try and simulate this game with the second team. I'm hoping for a little bit of simulation luck considering it's at home. Frankfurt are not a bad team, but Royce puts us up 1-0 on a penalty. And then in the 33rd minute, two goals are scored. One by Zakaria, one by Frankfurt. So it is 2-1. Can we hold this lead? 80 minutes played. It is 2-2 after an equalizer. And Sancho, 88th minute with a winner. And that gives us all three points. All right, so after that simulated game, our lead remains five points as Leipzig did not drop any points. So at least we keep our lead. So now we are in the Champions League round of 16 and my players are tired. Did we not? Did I not use the second team in that game? I might have not used my second team because all my players are tired. But now we're going to reveal who we are facing in the round of 16. And that team is going to be Benfica. So that is not the worst draw we could have got. 
It's actually probably one of the easiest. So this should be a tie that we were able to advance. This is going to be the last played game of the episode. All right, so a few players have to come in. Hazard, Delaney come in, as well as Shoals at left back. I don't really want to sub anyone else off or replace them in this lineup, I mean. So we are going to have to run with this. Round of 16 versus Benfica. Let's see what we can do in the first leg. A very good evening to you from one of the great capitals in Europe. All right, this is a big tie, but this is the first leg and it's away. So our goals are going to matter even more. So I like that we score more than one. So they come forward immediately with a decent looking attack. Good ball in. Berkey is able to make that save. That is a decent start by them. I would like a much better performance than Leverkusen. Lond could have passed his Royce. Probably should have. Into Sancho. Lond with a decent turn. Angle looks very tight, but Royce is going to be offside. Puts it in the net, but very well offside. Coming forward pretty well with the ball. That ball is tackled. But Perez is able to stay with it, and that is the first goal for Benfica. Thiago Silva tackles him, but the ball is just glued to his feet. And once he gets past Silva, that is an easy, easy goal. We are down 1-0 early on. Much like the game against Leverkusen. Can't really find an opening right here early on. They're struggling a little bit. Sancho, Kimi, try and cross this in. Ball into Delaney, Royce, into Witzel, Witzel with the equalizer. Very, very important goal. That is a little bit of relief after going down 1-0 early on. Finally, we were able to find some space along with another assist. And Witzel with another goal from midfield. All right, we need to defend and control the ball better than we have been. Ball into Holland. He's taken out. Royce is able to stay on the ball. Ball is into Vinsel. One again. And that is going to be halftime. Tied at 1 1. All right. Hazard could be on a run here. Lots of space. Taken out. That's going to be a penalty. There is no reason why the defender needs to go to ground there. No card, but that is a clear penalty. Completely takes out Hazard. Royce is going to take this penalty. Go to the right. Good penalty. Keeper doesn't even move. That is our second goal. Man, I feel like we needed this because we we're, we're kind of struggling this game. We're not playing like our normal selves. So that is a very good gift from Benfica as we go 2-1 up. All right, the more goals, the better. That just means the home leg will be easier. Benfica coming forward, having some decent passing. Over the head, through a ball. Jane Sancho is going to be able to collect that. Royce is unable to get the ball out. Might have to make some early subs here. All right, Royce and Witzel are very tired, so Royce is going to come out. He's going to come out for Brandt, and then Emre Chan is going to come on for Witzel. And then Halan's going to come out for Batshuayi, just for that extra pace up top. Or actually, let's do Zagadu for Hummels, so our defense isn't as tired. Delaney. Into Halan. Can he turn and get a shot away? He's on side, but it seems like the keeper is able to save that as Witzel makes a very good tackle. Royce with a chance that is blocked. Keeping the pressure on here. Royce is completely taken out at the edge of the box. It's going to be another free kick opportunity. All right, Royce is just subbed off. So our next best free kick taker is going to be Hazard. See what he can do from this far out. Ball is in. And then is saved by Benfica's keeper. 
Swing this cross in. Does not reach anyone. Come on, we need another goal here. We can't just have two this game. That is a terrible pass. Why does he wait so long to pass the ball? Ball into Halan and he's tackled. That might be our final chance of the game. And that is going to be our final chance. So we do win, but we only scored two goals in the away leg. Kind of disappointed that we didn't win by more, but it is a 2-1 win. All right, unfortunate result. I wanted to win by more, but that still sets us up in a positive position for the home leg. All right, so our next game is away versus Werder Bremen, who are in 10th. I think I'm going to simulate this game. All right, so first team is going to play this game against Werder Bremen. Batshuayi and David come in for Holland and Royce, and we're going to see what they can do. It is an away game, but away games have been kind to us lately in simulated matches. As I say that, Zakaria picks up a knock in the 8th minute, and that is not good. David scores in the 33rd minute, puts us up 1-0. 75 minutes played, Silva scores our second goal. They get one back right before the game is over, but it's going to be a 2-1 win. Alright, thankfully Zakaria's injury is only 3 days. I was kind of worried about that. So we get another 3 points. Decent performance. So Leipzig have yet to play their match. Let's simulate a few days ahead. And they win their game as well. So the lead stays at 5 points. Alright, next game is at home versus Freiburg. Freiburg is in 13th. I think I'm going to simulate this game as well. So that we can get past February in this episode. First team is going to go up against them. David stays at camp so Royce can get more rest. Delaney comes in and Schulz and Piszczek also come in as well as Zagadu. Alright, first team should be able to get the job done even though we are missing a few players. Game is at home. We should be able to beat Freiburg. Sancho puts us up 1-0 in the 25th minute. 60 minutes played. Piszczek puts us up 2-0. We are looking pretty decent here. 85 minutes, nothing new, and the game ends 2-0. So we are able to get the job done. And Leipzig have dropped points. They have dropped points. Who did they lose to? So they tied against Leverkusen like we did. And because of that, our lead has been restored. It is back to 7 points, just like we started in this episode. So Leverkusen doing us a favor. That is a big draw. Our lead is now back to 7. 7 is a lot more comfortable than 5. Well, that makes me feel better about that draw with Leverkusen. That makes me feel a lot better. Alright, so I'm going to end the episode here as we are now into March. We're going to start the next episode with a big game against Wolfsburg, who are in 5th. As well as playing the second leg of the Champions League in that episode. But I think we only have 10 games left in the Bundesliga, so from here on out, this season is probably going to go at a quicker pace. We are still holding on to the first spot in the league. But Leipzig is not letting up even though they drew against Leverkusen. It looks like they're going to be on our heels till the end of the season. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will catch you guys in the next one and hope you all have a great day.